Good morning, Aspie Legion, and welcome back to another video with me, Mr. Thomas Anley from the Asperger's Growth Channel. Today, we're going to be talking about CBD. What is it? Why is it good? Why does it help with anxiety? And why, if you're on the autistic spectrum, CBD can be an amazing tool for your daily life. All coming up soon. Stay tuned. So, there is no doubt in my mind that people on the spectrum really struggle with a lot of things in life. A lot of annoying little anxiety problems, a lot of social anxiety, a lot of problems that make it hard for us to go about daily life and cope with the little annoying things that poke at us all day, every day. But in recent scientific developments, they have isolated a new compound called CBD, cannabidiol. This CBD is an extract of the marijuana plant, the weed plant, the 420 blaze it plant. But Asperger's growth, why are you encouraging us to smoke this devil's lettuce? Well, loyal listener, CBD is actually one of the compounds in the marijuana plant that doesn't get you high, doesn't lift you up, doesn't inflate your balloons and make you feel all wavy and something along those lines. CBD has actually been found to make you less high. It is the actual polar opposite to the THC molecule, a molecule that a lot of recreational marijuana users like. THC can cause people to get a lot of paranoia. What was that? And it can give people a lot of anxiety and it can contribute to a number of mental health conditions like schizophrenia. Therefore, there is a lot of stigma around the CBD molecule. The reason why CBD has hit the UK by storm and the US by storm is for its medical properties. In terms of uses for autistic people, this CBD is a very potent anxiolytic meaning that if you vape it, it will have an effect in around 30 minutes. Whereas if you use the drops or you have like teas or something, it'll usually act within about an hour or an hour and a half. Although it's not really a recreational thing, it does give you a sense of relaxation. And in high doses, it can sort of give you a little bit of a fuzzy body feeling in your body. Your body is filled with these CB receptors. These receptors are part of the endocannabinoid system. This system regulates your neural activity. It suppresses neural activity to make sure that your brain doesn't go all freakish and go haywire like it does with conditions like epilepsy or anxiety. Therefore, it can be extremely useful for people with hyperactivity in their neurons, meaning anxiety, pain, epilepsy, it's all very useful and good. THC and CBD act on the same sort of receptors, but because they act on very similar receptors, this CBD can sort of kick out the THC and bind to these receptors to make sure that the THC doesn't. So when you have such a massive amount of CBD in a plant or in an extract, it means that even a low amount of THC, like 0.38% that's in some of these CBD extracts, doesn't have any effect. Or at least this effect is so negligible that just just doesn't matter. CBD also acts as a appetite stimulant, a mild appetite stimulant. Because of its appetite stimulating qualities, it can be useful for people who are going through things like chemotherapy or just people in general who have a very low appetite you know maybe they drink too many coffees and vape too much or something CBD can also help with sleep can make you very tired and it is a very good anti-inflammatory drug meaning that it can help with Crohn's or any sort of 
condition where there's a lot of inflammation in the body. Athletes even use it as a post-workout supplement. So you may be asking yourself, why is CBD good for autistic people? Yes, I was actually going to ask that. I'm very intrigued into why you think it is useful for an autistic person such as myself. Well, good acquaintance, there is a very high association between being on the spectrum and having anxiety problems. These anxiety problems can make your quality of life lower than most people's. It also means that it can make it very difficult to do everyday things or tackle challenging and difficult scenarios. Autistic people generally have a problem with sleeping as well, meaning that their melatonin systems and their ability to wind down after a hard day of work is very faulty. Taking CBD can help immensely with anxiety and panic attacks. It can also help give you a little bit of confidence when it comes to interacting people in a social environment without the need for harmful substances like alcohol. So let's go into some of the problems with CBD because with something so high up on a plinth, something that I'm bigging up so much, there's got to be a few downsides, right? Well, not many. The main downsides to it come from having too much and falling asleep, from eating too much because you've had too much again, but also because it is a drug. Although it's not a pharmaceutical drug per se, it does cause tolerance in people. Now that may sound like a really scary word, but it, it really isn't. It just means that if you take it for a prolonged period of time, and if you take too much on a very short burst of occasions, the effects of it will wear off the more you use it. Although the effects may wear off acutely, the actual CBD will stay in your system for a long time, meaning that it will stay in your system and reduce the amount of anxiety you feel, help with sleep a little bit more, but also have some of its beneficial properties such as reducing inflammation and steering away cancer in its ugly face. Naughty cancer. Bad cancer. So that's the pretty much summary of CBD in general. Now I'm going to give you some of my experiences and give you a little bit of advice on the type of CBD that you want to be getting, but I'm also going to give you some of the best ways of taking it. The first way that I tried CBD was using these little extract drops. The first time that I used it was quite profound. I had a very sort of weird and relaxing experience. I put maybe one, two or three drops of this quite high concentration CBD on, under my tongue. And because it absorbs through the sort of base and the capillary network under your tongue, it acts quite quickly. And within about 30 minutes, I was starting to feel sort of a bit more calm, a bit giggly, not giggly, but maybe a little bit woozy, a little bit tired. And this lasted for maybe about an hour or so. Not that long, but however, the next time that I tried it, I really just didn't have the same experience. Throughout my time using these drops, the only real benefit that I could find for anxiety was it stopped me from having panic attacks. It stopped me from getting so anxious that I got overwhelmed and felt horrible and started mel melting down into a pot of stew. stew. Feeling quite annoyed at the effects that I was having, the next thing that I tried was this vape oil. So it's about 2000 milligrams in this vape oil stuff that I bought and much to my disappointment it pretty much did the same thing as the drops. I used it on and off throughout my time at university. I used it when I was having some quite intense study sessions. Maybe I had some papers that I needed to get in on the on the pronto and it did help me regulate my panic attacks so I never felt I never felt scared about you know melting down in the middle of public or in the library because I had this CBD with me. But in terms of general anxiety, sort of that uncomfortable feeling that you get just being anxious all the time, whether it's in work or it's in the streets or it's with your friends or you're on your own in your bed, for some reason you're feeling so anxious, no reason. I tried other stuff. I tried other ways of consuming CBD. I tried these capsules, which helped a little bit. Helped a little bit more to be honest because it was a lot more long lasting um, and it's a bit annoying when you have to go outside every 
hour or two hours to vape a little bit of CBD. And the drops were just a little bit too expensive. So I would polish off, you know, like a little tincture bottle in about five days. It was about 30 quid, so it's not really that worth it, I don't think. The thing that I've gravitated towards more nowadays is the CBD teas. These teas were actually really effective, both cost-wise and effect-wise. I wouldn't drink these CBD teas throughout the day because I didn't want to use up too much of it, but after a long, hard day, coming back and having a little CBD tea, maybe one or two, really helped me relax and it helped me a lot with sleeping. Furthermore, because I was consuming it through my gastrointestinal tract because I was swallowing it down into my body and it was being released on a more sort of baseline level and it wasn't just going peaking and troughing like it does with vape oil, it really helped me because it sort of built up uh, the more that I used it and it helped get rid of that general anxiety that uncomfortable feeling that you get all the time when you have anxiety. Hate it! I hate it so much and I'm sure you do too. I have heard other things of the capsules and vape oil and extracts working really well for some people but for some reason I'm very intolerant to any sort of extracts or drugs or anything, medical drugs. And because of this I need quite a lot and the most cost effective way that I can seem to regulate my anxiety is by using these CBD products. They work a lot more than a lot of the anxiety medications that I've used before. I've used things like buspirone and beta blockers and although they have helped they've had a lot of side effects and stuff whereas the CBD stuff is just so it's life-changing to be honest and it doesn't require you to constantly interact with douchey doctors that constantly try to patronize you because you're on the spectrum has anybody else had that experience it's horrible isn't it so what is the takeaway message for today's video tom i am very interested in knowing should i get it shall i give it a go well as long as you are not having loads of it and driving or operating heavy machinery or having it on such a constant basis that it's pretty much all you do all day and if you are autistic and you're on the spectrum cbd can be a great anxiety reliever for social interactions or difficult scenarios that you need to face in life so that just about does it for the video did you like it i'm sure you did i can see that you like it girl boy son homie acquaintance and if you like the video make sure to hit that little subscribe button just touch it gently give it a nice little click not too hard don't be smashing that subscribe button over here we don't do things like that we're respectful for it we we care for it we're sensitive empathic human beings but if you're not make sure to absolutely wreck that little notification bell next to it gotta hit that bell do you have any experiences with cbd all of the different products that are out there tried some cbd and your mums found out these little little marijuana hemp plants on the front of these little tinctures and thought hey but the mother it's got health benefits it's good for you it helped me anxiety and if you want to hear more about my daily life and check out what I'm doing and stuff, make sure to <coughs> head over to my Facebook page, my Twitter account, and my Instagram account, all at Asperger's Growth. Easy place. Easy, easy, easy thing to do. And if you want to support my channel by donating a little bit of a cash sum every month, maybe $1 a month, make sure to head over to my Patreon page, have a look at that. Are you tired of going to those disrespectful and patronizing GPs? Well, I've got a revolutionary thing that you can try, and that is CBD. It can revolutionize your life and vitalize your loins. Hope you're having a good day, everybody. See you later, peeps.